a little different thoughts on my mind this morning. I'm thinking about the responsibility of the first. I think about the first individual all of a sudden had the responsibility of teaching the second and they learn together. I have this here, I don't know why, idea that the first people have a responsibility to all other people. I have this overwhelming thought that the firstborn has the responsibility of guiding the second. So no one has an opportunity here to boast unless everyone can boast because it takes everyone to be able to boast that produces the kind of boasting which is a complete individual who is enjoying the life. I'm saying this because for those who know God, they have a responsibility as well. They have the responsibility of lifting up God in words and in deed as the power of God dwells within them. And this comes from knowledge. This isn't from belief. People who believe in God respond to God differently. In fact, people who believe in God allow certain things to happen without even standing up against it. Maybe speaking out, but not standing up against it. And by so doing, they actually become complicit with whatever the negativity is. That comes from belief. I heard one pastor who is a United States Senator right now, I think his last name is Walker, uh, from South Carolina or North Carolina, North Carolina maybe, a congressman. He said he used to be a pastor. He was asked a question once about comparing Donald Trump with morality in government. And he was saying that Trump wasn't elected on to be a moral representative. And when it comes down to it, as fundamentalist Christians and evangelical Christians who have an individual thought, in independence of thought, that uh, who would you rather have? a moral leader, good moral leader, or a leader that can get you from point A to point B. So if it, if it, if it takes a, a, another kind of leader to get you to point, from point A to point B, then go that way. And then after you have what you want, then it's basically what it's all about, getting what you want, then you can start talking God again. That's what the world knows as being fake. That's the reality of the world in which we live. That is why we have all this crime and all this violence and all this lying and all this cheating and all this stealing and all this uh, power seeking. And at the same time, we got our kids who come out of high school who want to go to college in the primes of their lives where they can bring in as much knowledge as they possibly can so they can be better at it, whatever it is, whatever it feels, whatever role that they're going to play in this life, but then you put obstacles in, in the way of so many of them. So many of them can't do it, so what do they do? Go get a hamburger job, or, or what do they do? Some of them, many of them, get on drugs, trying to pass the time, hoping, dreaming that something will happen, and they can't imagine it happening through them because their parents themselves have allowed this to come to this point, so how can they trust themselves, and many do, but in various kinds of ways, through uh, positive protest, 
peaceful protest and then some of it goes to the point where it says to hell with this and they're ready to start some hell. And all of this because we don't want to do it the right way and we don't want to do it the right way because we don't know what the right way is and why? Because either those that know better have sold out and got mega churches. They know the truth and they sold out and they can polish the stuff up, get mega churches and get these people doing nothing. But sitting up allowing all the hell and all the evil that goes on and all the suffering and all the pain that goes on to continue. Nobody standing up against it. Nobody standing up saying this is the way. This is how we end all the poverty. Stand up, glorify, show the world how the world can benefit from it. Show every individual how they can benefit from it. Glorify it, glorify it. If you know. So we tired of this hell. The money, especially those of us who falls out, are always falling out on the left on the left out. And we know that politicians, even if they are genuine, can't do it without us. And for some strange reason, it always appears as if as soon as they go in, we expect them to work miracles and we sit back and complain when they can. We must go into this situation knowing that America has got to change. America is going to change. Why? Because we've seen the evil hand at work. We've seen the evil hand at work and it's not good enough for us to just hit on the brakes. No, my friend, we got to run. We got to run as fast as we can back to heavenliness. And that's like the story goes. You know what the story goes. I don't have to tell you. Go back to one of my other videos and check it out. It'll explain to you. I just want to thank you for giving me this your time because I want you to know I want you to know that all of the stuff that goes on in our society, all of the stuff that goes on in our society that's not good, every last one of us are responsible for it. We are here to live as though we are in heaven. Everything has been given to us. All we have to do is walk according to certain different principles and we can have it, and all of our desires will be met. And we're supposed to fight off any virus that comes upon us, talking about somebody is better, somebody deserves better, we're the greatest, who, who are we competing against, ourselves? We're competing against ourselves? What kind of sense does that make? We're supposed to, Show them the way to peace. Not engage in this rhetoric. Not picking up guns, going out fighting their battles. Not carrying their rhetoric, their propaganda. Not putting up with it. Hey, this way kills. Look how it's killing. Look what it's doing. Look how it destroys. How do we replace that? We've got to want to first off. we got to want to replace it. Why? What do you want out of this whole situation? What do you benefit from it? You benefit this way and you lose this way. So what's the total gain? What is it that each of you want? What is it that each of you want? Now, how do we get it? Oh, boy. That's deep. So go back to my last video and get the answer. I want to thank you so very much. Goodbye.